welcome to my youtube channel so in this video tutorial we're going to continue from where we stopped and um, so someone mentioned in the comment that there's an error in my php code and i think that's right you know because we have this right um this code here doesn't make um doesn't produce the results that we want for example if we um for now we have only one um item in our local host let me go to the local host right php my admin here and um and also let me copy this um ip um address right copy this one here and then open from here so when i open this one what you see that we are getting one item here because obviously we only have one item in our database so i'm opening that um, i don't know why it's taking too much time to open um why okay this thing is okay so when i open the foos right you see that i'm having two items here um because last time i added one item to it but then we still get only one um item which is the last item in the database hot coffee returned to us we have hot coffee which is the last item in the database so this is not actually what we want we want to fetch everything inside the database so when we go here we have to make sure we push the item that we are getting or we are fetching from it, the single item we are fetching from the database into this array that we have this empty array right but what we are doing is that we are assigning the array to this um, the the item that we get back to this array so obviously we, we will only have one item inside the array so to solve this problem we have to use array uh, push right and we have to i'm um, sorry we have to do this and then we have to push the item into this array so we can now comment this and then save and run the, the php code again the api now you see we are having the two items we are having the first one which is the gel of rice and um, we are we are also having um what's the other one the hot coffee right so we are having a list written to us and that's um, a good way to solve this problem so now any item that we add into the database will be added to um, the list so we go back into this um yeah and we have our so this is where we ended last time right and uh, we were able to fetch the respond body let's check the debug console right so we were able to fetch and previously we were only having the hot coffee so that's what it was returned to us so now when i go to others right and i come back to home i should get two items fetch okay so now we are getting the jollof rice and then the hot coffee because we've been able to fix that error and then we are having this one so we know that we are we are we are getting a list returned to us so we can simply um go through that list so let's create um a list here fetch data because json dot decode because what we are receiving from um from this api is um, a json encode um data so we have to um make sure we decode it so response dot body so the body that we printed into inside the console we are now decoding them into this list and uh, we can uh, go ahead and print the fetch data too and see what we are getting i will now comment this one um, let me comment this one and then save um let's see in the console right so when i go to others and i come back to the home i should get the item so now we are getting the same um turn here but now we can look through the data that we are fetching okay 
so we can go ahead and fetch the dot dot for each right and uh, we are going to each item and then we can decide um to food okay let me just put that on here and we can also decide to print food here and see what exactly we get okay and uh, let's see what we get and then let's go back to others and come to the home um okay so now you can see that we are not having a list but then we are having each item printed to us this one and then this one okay so we are having two items um printing to us and this is in the form of a, a map where we have this and that to um the key and then the value okay so each food item is a, a map that we can access using the key and then we get it the data um, so let me just go ahead and show you what i mean so when i access the id then we can also see that we are getting um let me go back and then come back to the home and now you can see i'm i'm getting the id for each item which is one three and when you look inside the database we have one three which is the id okay so now we know that we can um, look through the items that we are fetching and then we can also um, get the items and we know that here is the list that we we have okay the list of food that we want to get and now we are fetching so we simply want to push everything or add to this um, list list that we have okay so to um, solve this problem we can just go ahead and create a new food um, object here so food and then we can go ahead and create this one and then when we check the the arguments or the fields that we have to pass we need an id okay and then we can also go ahead and say food id um and then this one is trying an error so let's see the operator um the operator the local variable food can't be referenced because it is declared okay so we can't reference this food okay because i'm using the same name for this one so let me change this one to data okay and then we can change this one to data and now we are getting the correct thing okay and now we can go ahead and say category data category we can also discount data um discount and then we can also go image power data um we have the name i can also so we are just simply creating um food object depending on the item that we receive okay and then we have the name and we also have the last okay price and um we have um price F as for the rating we are going to wait there's one field that we need to fill which is the ratings and that one we will leave, we will leave it for later use because when you check we don't have any rating here right so we will leave that later and then fix that error so when we get this what i'll also do is to make sure i create um, a list of food here okay so um first um sorry first food items okay and i'll make it an empty list and then as we are creating this one what we want to do is to add it to the first food items dot add um sorry add and then we want to add this food okay so now we we are doing all this in the for each okay so now outside of for each we can simply call this food items uh food and then pass this one to it okay okay now this is what we have so now we are fetching everything and then we are passing it inside 
our food items we can also just simply um print whatever is inside these food items here to see what we are getting let's quickly do that in our method here we can um i'll change this to um let me quickly change this to void instead of the because i want to do something otherwise i'll have a dead code in mind okay so inside here we can print foods to see what we have inside foods okay and let's save because now we don't have anything inside food but then we have been able to fetch and then we are adding to foods okay so let's um open the debug um, debug console to see what we have so i'll go to others and come back to home let's see what we have um and then we have an error okay so um where is the error okay we have an empty okay it said on a type string is not a subtype of double so i think um yeah we are we are fetching this um, data is double and what we are passing it to it is a string so we can quickly cut this one and double dot pass to change a string into double this is how you do it and then we can save that one and let's check again and uh, we go here and then come back again and then we still have an error which um string is not a subset of um 33 this one too it's not a subset of double okay we have an another error here okay and we can also do this so let's save that one and um, we can check again okay this time we are not having any error but we are not seeing anything inside our our print foods i don't know if it's because i'm printing from that side but let me just print from here and see okay so let's go back and uh, let's check well, okay you can see that now it's fetching i think it's from where i'm fetching from because what happened is we don't have anything inside right and then we try to print this thing outside um the for each loop for some reason it doesn't work that way it doesn't seems to fetch it but now you can see that we have um instance of food items instance of food items and i think this one makes sense so in the next tutorial we are going to make sure that we um access this foods and inside our home page here and then we will use it in our list view to um, make sure that we are now fetching that one instead of using the hard-coded um foods that we pass here okay so that was what we do in our next tutorial okay thank you guys for watching um please um share this video with your friends on your social media account thank you see you